personalities who play vital roles in the political landscape. Please welcome Padma Vibhushan Awardee and a member of uh, the Rajya Sabha, Ms. Sonal Man Singh, Ms. Shushmita Dev, a member of parliament from the Srinamool Congress, Mr. GVL Narsimha Rao, member of parliament from the Bhartiya Janta Party, and Mr. Ritesh Pandey, Lok Sabha MP from the BSP. And moderating this session will be our esteemed anchor, Ms. Shivani Gupta. Thank you everyone for being here and a big round of applause please. We have four parliamentarians on our stage and of course it will be my pleasure to prick their brains about parliamentary democracy ahead of the next general elections because that's the word that is continuing to be debated in India, parliamentary democracy and is it being strengthened or is it losing its sheen. So I have four esteemed parliamentarians on the stage. Can I begin with a big round of applause so that we know everybody is alive and kicking. Yes, thank you so much. Let me begin with Solon Man Singh Ji who's here. Thank you ma'am for your time. I want to understand from you, one of the big criticisms of parliament uh, proceedings or what goes on in parliament these days, maybe more these days than earlier in both houses is that there is less discussion and debate, there is more disruption and sometimes even unruly behavior. I want to begin by you. Because, you know, you're an artist who stepped into the arena of the parliament. Are parliamentarians truly living up to their duty to the public? What do you think? Look, I'm an artist hoon, and I'm used to discipline. <laughs> I'm used to lakri on my elbows and knees. Yes. Uh, fortunately, that's not the procedure to be followed in parliament in Rajya Sabha. But I do think that uh, quite often it has been going a little beyond uh, expectation and it's unfortunate that uh, so many important bills and resolutions and everything does not get passed due to lack of quorum or walkouts, disruptions, mm -hmm. noise. So that is lamentable. Okay. Uh, GVL, let me begin with you as well. Uh, they say that the responsibility to run the house <coughs> smoothly lies on the treasury benches, lies on the government. Has the government failed in that job given how many disruptions take place and the number of MPs from the opposition especially who have been suspended in the last four years has tripled in a similar period before that. Does that not show that maybe there is less debate and discussion being encouraged and more action on opposition? Uh, good evening to you and all the viewers. Uh, it actually shows how the unruly behavior of the opposition mm -hmm. has, how it has made it impossible for the House to function, for both the Houses of Parliament to function. Mm -hmm. Before every session of Parliament, Honorable Prime Minister appealed to all political parties that we are willing, we, the, a Parliament is for discussion, debate and not for disruption. We have seen very, very unfortunate and very ugly scenes in, the, in Parliament the last session when Honorable Prime Minister was replying to the motion of uh, uh, pres Honorable President's address to the Parliament, both Houses of Parliament. This is considered a very important speech in, uh, in Parliament. Prime Minister was disrupted in Rajya Sabha throughout his speech. No one allowed him, uh, allowed the Prime Minister to be heard. This is, this is an insult not just to the Honorable Prime Minister, it's, it's insult to the President of India, the first citizen of India. It's an insult to India's democracy. Never before a Prime Minister was, uh, was not allowed to speak in the manner he was disrupted in this session. So I think things have gone too far. And every session, opposition says, oh, this is the only issue that we want to debate. And when Chairman of the House does not allow discussion, or the Lok Sabha speaker does not allow discussion because certain rules are not being followed. Everyone has to, everyone has to act heed to the chair. They, are, they believe the best way to get headlines in television channels hmm. is to uh, create disruption in parliament. 
and i have a feeling that opposition has stopped uh, having any appetite for speaking for the public they simply want to create disruption walk out and rest of the day we are all everybody is free so we are actually we are doing a great disservice to the people of this country who have elected so many members of parliament we are failing in our duty by not allowing houses to function no so you're echoing what sonal mansingh ji is saying but does some of the blame not lie with the with the government because How? you ask this of the opposition they remind you of arun jaitley's famous quote that disruption is a legitimate means of opposition in parliament yeah, disruption also has to have some order it cannot be a disorderly disruption you can't jump onto the chairman's uh, uh, desk and uh, tear papers tear off the mic and you can't throw um, a books at the secretary general and officers of uh, uh, parliament and that's not kind of disruption obviously there are there is a legitimate and a and a method to madness i'm sorry okay. to use that word but that's i think perhaps perhaps the most appropriate word to use there has to be even if there is dissent it has to follow certain democratic form and here it's complete lawlessness and this is really unfortunate and it really pains people like me and it should pain many other young parliamentarians like uh, uh, like our, our friends here on both my side i think it, it it robs us of opportunities to really speak for the people i'm saying i i have included myself so so shweta ji i want let me come to you uh, the the converse question to that is that if you talk about the tmc for example the party that you belong to virtually all of their rajya sabha mps have faced suspension for unruly behavior and some of it has been about you know fighting with the marshal some of it it has been about throwing things at the speaker's chair now is that the means of disruption that opposition parties want to be known for um thanks shivani i i i am not going to give a very long rhetorical answer but what i'll tell you is when the mechanisms within the system fail when mechanisms within the system fail that's when the opposition feels compelled to take another route you see uh, we have the dilemma that where we do, when we don't protest for instance let's say inflation is at its highest i'm giving a small example so in the next parliament session if i um, start accepting the government's proposal to debate on how sports should be promoted and that's what the government invariably does a member of parliament of the bjp will move some uh, absolutely banal topic and the speaker will accept it and say ab sports pe charcha kijiye jabki mehangai is the biggest issue outside the parliament this is the way parliament is frustrated and that's i don't expect every person to understand that and let me end uh, end it by saying that when the farm laws were brought the three farm laws there was havoc in parliament that's when you just said that members of the trinamool congress were suspended and many others were suspended all that the television channels showed is look 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 what's happening public money is going to waste but eventually what happened this government and the prime minister of india had to accede that those laws are not acceptable to the people the mood inside the parliament via the opposition has to reflect the mood of the nation and what is a healthy democracy a healthy democracy is when the government of the day should not fear criticism government of the day should be able to uh, listen to a debate which cuts into the government's policy and criticizes the government's policy and i'll end by saying that when the china war happened you know Uh, uh the galwan clash yes uh, no no i'm talking about pandit nehru talking time. about the there's a famous story when bjp had no strength hardly any strength in parliament but bajpai ji wanted the session to be convened so that it could be debated and pandit nehru acceded to that and sat through the entire debate sat through the entire debate where the entire opposition criticized him because he knew that that was the mood of the nation so that's how a democracy is done so i i just want to reiterate the fact i want to reiterate the fact that uh, sometimes 
we have no choice otherwise we just become pawns inside parliament That's i get your point about converters. being frustrated but my question was that the behavior in even in opposition or in contest of what the government is doing let's say you accept that what the government has done is wrong you should be given your space to raise the issues you feel are the most important gvlg raised one issue that you can't insist on one issue everything will come one by one the second is the manner in which you register your protest is picking up mics throwing things can that be avoided see i just i just want to tell you that there is a rule in parliament when the house is not in order that means there is noise or there is protest generally a house is adjourned the speaker calls all sides which includes the people in power the people in the opposition and tries to come to a consensus to say okay let's debate what the government is saying and then we will debate yours the next day there is absolutely no backroom efforts that this government makes which has been the norm for decades let me finish gvl i didn't interrupt you so yeah, all i'm saying is all i'm yes yes sushmita please finish yes. so what i'm saying is that is the reality which people who watch television can't see okay you're saying the government needs to do more sonal ji you want to come in very quickly before i, I go just, to the i just wanted to make a quick intervention saying yes. that i uh, somehow disagree with sushmita ji because we, i know hmm. uh, personally that a lot of my friends uh, the leaders of opposition parties mm -hmm. and i have friends among all of them they are invited inside you will back me for that and uh, deliberations do go on this is something i believe inside and then they come out and do something else this is what i hear ritesh ji uh, opposition ka ye kehna hai ki unki jo uh, government ke sawal puchne ki jo shamta hai aur jo unki jo jagah thi wo कम होती जा रही है वो दैट स्पेस इज श्रिंकिंग और वो पार्लियामेंट में भी जो जगह थी और जो मौका मिलता था गवर्नमेंट पे सवाल उठाने के लिए वो भी कम होता जा रहा है आप ये मानते हैं नहीं बिल्कुल पहले तो सबसे पहले आपको धन्यवाद नो आई आई फर्मली बिलीव वॉज सुस्मिता जी सेंग इज एब्सोल्युटली ट्रू देखिए ऑन वन लेवल ऑल्सो यू हैव टू सी हाउ अ पार्लियामेंट्री सिस्टम इज रन राइट नाउ इफ यू हैव अ विप वेर पार्टीज इज सपोज टू फॉलो इट okay individual members don't have a way to let their own views about their uh, particular constituencies and vote based on that mm -hmm. with when it comes to any sort of law okay so you have the party whip uh, you will have to uh, vote within those uh, lines that's one aspect uh, which allows very little space for members to vent their concerns about their about their uh local issues but the second thing is voting. yes Let's the talk second thing is discussion. the debate see, you can be called into uh for an all party meeting i've been the leader of my party we have uh, put forward issues that we want to debate let's say if there is issues relating to atrocities towards dalits how many times have you heard uh, have you seen a debate that has come up with this regard do you think the bsp does not raise it how many times have you uh, had uh, the parliament debate issues around uh, sewage workers has uh, that never been put forward it has been so uh, what are the issues that come up as sushmita ji said sports uh, drugs i'm not saying that this, this these are issues that shouldn't be discussed obviously that needs to be discussed and it will be discussed but uh, at the same time how many issues that have come forward from the opposition a lot of the times the opposition put for, puts put forward areas which it wants to be debated for example one of them is uh, what sushmita ji just mentioned there was last time the issue around uh, the hindenburg report there was uh, various other areas and what you saw in at that point was that the that the treasury bench was demanding uh, an apology from a leader from some uh, from the opposition for some statements made for outside some, parliament but but to to sort of put a final point to it i i still feel that uh, you know it has to be a give and take game and in democracy all members they are representing about you know approximately 2 million people 2.5 million people hmm. and they have things that they want to put out there and that should be given space and uh, you know the opposition really does come out with the mood of the nation no so i get your point about being able to raise issues of your constituency you of course come from lok sabha and of course raising my right issues that may concern the public now i see many parliamentarians make decent effort in raising those issues i don't think there's a dearth of those issues they raise this in question hour and things like that i am particularly talking about stalling 
the proceedings for politics. Yes, GVL, I mean, you want to come? No. <coughs> there are interventions like zero hour, hmm. where every day you get to uh, 20 MPs at least get to speak about 20 different topics. Hmm. There is also an instrument called special mention. There again, 15, 20. Because of disruptions, what is happening, the entire day's pro proceedings are getting completely wiped out. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's actually a big, I agree with him, the members of parliament who want to raise their consciences issues, they are not able to raise because uh, the entire zero hour, the moment house convenes at 11 o'clock, immediately uh, the, the noise starts. There but have been appeals from the chair several times not to disrupt at least the zero hour the, or the question hour where members, you see, ministers come and reply to a whole range of questions. The opposition is doing a great disservice to the people of this country by not even allowing ministers to reply. Okay, another, another quick, quick uh, point. You see, whether it is price rise or whether it is Hindenburg report or anything under the sun, in the last, last session was a budget session, which began with the uh, address of the Honorable President to both houses of Parliament. President's address covers every gamut of governance, practically everything that government does. And budget session talks about you can raise, while speaking on the budget, you can speak on any topic concerning economy. There is no restriction. Your party gets a Trinamool Congress, possibly gets an R. In that one hour, you can choose to speak only about price rise. But why did you stall the entire hour? You could have spoken. In fact, some members had spoken about Hindenburg report also. It was not removed from the, from the records. So I think opposition has lost interest in, uh, in raising issues of can public I, Can concern. I ask you a counter question? Before I go into how the public perceives this and how this will impact 2024, why don't you also meet the opposition halfway? Let's say they believe strongly that Hindenburg report needs to be debated. Why don't you allow it? Uh, what is the harm in discussing it as part of uh, a budget debate? There are, you see, in a budget session, you see, you can't debate. No, no, this is not bullying. You are, you are trying to miss, you are trying to only gain news headlines by raising issues on disrupting the house. You think disruption gets you better mileage than speaking on the subject because I find most of the, sub, most of the speeches in parliament uh, lack the kind of gravitas that you expect. So people come in, make very routine speeches and leave and the best thing is to disrupt the house, go for the whole day. So I think that seems to have become now, banking parliament has become a... I'll just add one thing, that you know, even in Rajya Sabha, the upper house, which was known for more sober debates and less politically charged rhetoric and debates, is seeing the kind of disruptions and unruly behavior that is unheard of or unseen before. Should the opposition also not take some responsibility Shivani, you, for that? Shivani, you have to, there's a choice you make. There's a choice you make. Either you surrender and be subservient to this government or you fight back. There are no shades of grey in this, in this battle. So you're saying this so is, and, and this anything is, is okay yes. inside so What out. I am saying is if today I am going to be relegated, if I'm going to be relegated to a pawn inside parliament which toes their line, that's not why I'm in parliament, then I would go to their party. Today we are in the opposition, we are meant to fight, we are meant to fight for the people. And let me put on record, I let GVL say all that about how important speeches and all that because I wanted to put on record that in the last session, not only did the BJP members of parliament disrupt the entire session, but their ministers, their ministers came and disrupted the parliament saying, Rahul Gandhi, Mafi Mango, Mafi Mango, the entire session. So you can't say Chit bhi meri or Pat bhi meri. कि आप जब करेंगे तो गलत है और हम जब करेंगे तो सही है जेटीसी सही थे पर आप गलत है सो टेक वन स्टैंड नो सेइंग मिनिस्टर्स डिस्रप्टेड दैट्स कंप्लीट नहीं आई आई कंप्लीटली डिस्प्यूट दैट नहीं वन मोर थिंग आई आई शुड द लोकसभा एंड राज्यसभा कैमरास शिवानी डोंट इवन फोकस ऑन द ऑपोजिशन डू नो दैट लेट्स से हम मंत्री को एक सवाल पूछ रहे हैं वो पूरा कैमरा मंत्री को ही दिखाता है और ये, हम ये जो गलत है हम को दिखाते हैं लोग लोकसभा और राज्यसभा में नहीं नहीं बिल्कुल गलत है दिस इज दिस इज एन अनडेक्लेयर्ड इमरजेंसी इन द कंट्री जी विल वेरी क्विकली बिफोर दिस इज दिस इज कंप्लीट नो ऐसा नहीं है रिफ्यूट नहीं नो 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 नो
okay if you have let's say i am a member asking a question to the minister and if three member three opposition members come behind me they hold placards do you expect rajya sabha it's not no this is the only this time this is why we this stand is behind the only them. time I Because think the carrying the cards in the house. No, one second. Point. Let me complete. Okay. Carrying the cards inside the chamber is disallowed. And when I am asking a question to the honourable minister, your people come behind me and hold the cards, and you want Rajya Sabha TV to show that? Obvious. That's the only time when you are not shown on TV. Otherwise, if you, if you. We say. Okay. Yes, Ritesh. So now she is also nodding. Uh, I'll go to her in just. Yes, Ritesh. Very quickly. So. I mean, I would uh, go back to what JVLG said. Yes. First of all, um, you know, whether it was the Hindenburg report, it deserves it deserved at that point a separate discussion. When I'm debating the uh, the budget, I want to talk about many things. You've merged the rail budget also in one uh, singular budget, so there's various topics within the budget that needs to be talked about. And I just mentioned my constituencies. The form was concerned at that point, not uh, the Hindenburg report. It required a separate discussion. That said, hmm. I just come back to another thing. Naya wala parliament, agar aapne dekha hai, ji, uska jo well hai, wo itna bada gadha hai, usme to jagah bhi nahi hai ki aap khade hokar ke protest kar paenge. To achhi baat hai na? Ab jab aap usko chahe jaise le le. नहीं बट बेल में आना तो गलत है ना उसको कैसे बिल्कुल गलत है जीएसपी तो उसके हमेशा खिलाफ रहती है हम लोग तो अपने खेमे में रहते हैं लेकिन वेल में जाते क्यों है ताकि कैमरा दिख जाए अच्छा। तो वहां पे वो भी नहीं दिखेगा माइक इस तरह से बनाए गए हैं कि जब आप कटेंगे तो कटी हुई पतंग की तरह चले जाएंगे कहा गए इसका कोई पता नहीं रहेगा आप ये तो नहीं कह रहे कि राजनीत में राजनीत में आप क्या दिखते हैं क्या कर रहे हैं हाँ। और उसका बहुत महत्व होता है तो अगर कोई प्रोटेस्ट करता है मैं आपको एक चीज बता दूं आप जब जंतर मंतर पे बैठते हैं है ना तो क्या आपको लगता है सारी जनता आपके मुद्दे जान रही है वो ये जानती है फला लोग जंतर मंतर पे एक मुद्दा लेकर खुला टेबल और माइक भी मिल जाए ताकि हम इधर उधर फेंक सकते हैं ये तो फिक्स कौन सा है पार्लियामेंट देखे अभी कोसोवो में क्या हुआ वहाँ तो सब पानी वाले हमें कोसोवो को थोड़ा भाई हम तो उनसे अच्छे हैं हम तो कम से कम जा करके अपनी आवाज बुलंद कर रहे हैं उससे ज्यादा तो नहीं कर रहे सोनल जी वॉन्टेड टू कम इन सोनल जी आई ओनली वॉन्ट टू से समथिंग ऑन अ लाइट एंड नोट आफ्टर दिस वंडरफुल गर्मा गर्मी दैट कल्चर को इस सब में स्थान नहीं मिल रहा माई कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी इज कल्चर I'm nominated by the president for culture, and so often that I wanted to bring some very, very uh, important, significant issues. Because after all, I do believe, and I'm sure you'll all agree with me, that culture is the soul of a nation, and it is by culture that we've been known for centuries, apart from other things. Yes. So. there is no way that i can stand up and ask the zero hour is as mr rao said zero hour is cancelled special mention is cancelled the star questions also don't come up whole session is uh, sort of you know am i kya kehte hain usko 12 baje fir 12:30 baje adjourn ha huh. the adjournment has become a very popular word now and i hate it because i go there with, with expectation I go there to discuss something which normally does not come up. Nobody thinks of poor artists all over India. There are lakhs and crores of them. Unki koi baat nahi karta hai. Unki baat karne ki jagah kahan hai? So I am saying that when I what what you said, I was nodding because mere piche bhi aake khade ho jaate the. So I would just you know make my dancer eyes and they would say okay 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 and they would move away. But पॉइंट इज कि हम लोगों को बोलने के लिए भी समय ना मिले पूरी सेशन धुल जाए फायदा क्या है ओके ओनली पार्ट वी हैड डिस्कशन इन दिस सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ बजट सेशन वाज अबाउट नॉट टू नॉट टू आस्कर नॉमिनेशन वी हैड डिस्कशन फॉर अबाउट टू आवर्स अवार्ड नॉट टू नॉट टू एवरीवन स्पोक एंड दैट्स द ओनली टू आवर्स वी हैड पीस इन द हाउस या बट आई वॉन्ट टू जस्ट से टू सोनल जी बिकॉज शी इज nominated for the by the president for her uh, she's excelled in the cultural field 
सोनल जी सबको बताइए ना लास्ट सेशन में कौन डिस्टर्ब किया पार्लियामेंट बीजेपी कि राहुल गांधी माफी मांगो माफी मांगो कौन बोल रहे थे कार्ड लेके आप तो न्यूट्रल है आप इंडिपेंडेंट है आप, आप बोलिए ना नो आप एक ही सेशन की क्यों बात कर रही हैं फिर सिर्फ पिछले सेशन का बता दी नहीं क्यों एक ही सेशन की बात आप कर रहे हैं कर रहे हैं क्यों एक ही सेशन की बात कर रहे हैं आप बोलिए ना कि लास्ट मैं क्यों मंत्री मंत्री लोग फ्लोर पे आके आपके कहने से मैं नहीं बोलूंगी फ्लोर पे आके राहुल गांधी माफी मांगो माफी मांगो आपके कहने पर तो मैं नहीं बोलूंगी मैं तो कह रही हूँ कि पिछले पूरे वर्ष की जो चार छह सेशन होती है उनकी तो बात कर मेरे पास कुछ नंबर है मेरे पास कुछ नंबर है मैं वो नंबर पढ़ देती हूँ बजट सेशन जिसकी बहुत चर्चा हो रही है उसमें प्रोडक्टिविटी थर्टी थ्री एंड ट्वेंटी फोर परसेंट फॉर लोकसभा एंड राज्यसभा रिस्पेक्टिवली बिफोर दैट मॉनसून सेशन लास्ट ईयर बोथ हाउसेज लेस देन फिफ्टी परसेंट अयर बिफोर दैट फॉर मॉनसून सेशन वॉज लेस देन थर्टी परसेंट फॉर बोथ हाउसेज सो यू नो द पब्लिक इज वॉचिंग एंड द पब्लिक इज नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन की किसकी गलती थी किसने नारे उठाए और किसने प्लेक कार्ड लगाए सुषमिता लेट मी कम टू यू आई वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द रोड टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एंड आई थिंक दिस इज अ यंग इंडिया दैट वॉच इज ग्लोबली द स्टैंडर्ड सेट बाई पार्लियामेंटेरियंस कोसोवो असाइड आई डोंट थिंक वी आर ट्राइंग टू एम फॉर कोसोवो but you know jokes aside don't you are you as the opposition winning the narrative that you are not being allowed to speak so this is okay or do you think this is going against you see shivani let me tell you something when the 2g 3g scam happened during upa time do you remember those days yes what did the bjp do in the parliament so you are talking about narrative see what the biggest uh, problem is on the one hand it is people saying where is the opposition what are they doing kaha hai ye log dikhte nahi hai kuch nahi kar rahe modi sarkar aise kar rahi hai and when we protest i take pride in the fact that we protested against the farm laws and eventually the farmers took to the street and this government have take it back there are hundreds of laws that are being passed like that you're talking about the budget the last budget was passed in less than 12 minutes who was disrupting the parliament bjp no there is an issue of money how? bill route being used and even on That's other important legislations money. time not being given for the no, proper debate a number of bills had to be passed very in a hurried manner but how you can't hold the entire country to ransom just because opposition is not letting parliament function we cannot have a situation where 